So do you, like so many of us, have you found that now you've reached a certain age or in your midlife or beyond that the clothes that you used to wear no longer fit you and you've started adding pounds where you didn't think you were going to add pounds and you're finding it really difficult to find things that actually flatter your body shape? Well, stick with me and throughout this video I will give you my ideas on how to get the best jackets, trousers, pants to fit your body shape now. So a well-fitted jacket is a miracle worker and it'll define your body shape whatever type of body you have. But there are certain things that you need to consider when you're buying a jacket or getting a jacket to fit. And the first one is shoulders. If your jacket comes out beyond your shoulders, it's going to make you look much broader. So make sure that the jacket fits onto the line of your own shoulder line. The other thing to remember is the fit of the sleeve as it goes into the jacket. If it's tight and it pulls, or if it's too big and it's too loose, it'll make you look much bigger than you are and it'll just fall off your shoulders. Now the sleeves should always be tapered towards the end. This will make your arms look much longer and elegant. If you don't have a taper in it, then get a seamstress or a tailor to, to take it in just so it goes in slightly at the end. And as I said, it would just give that more, much more of an elegant line. And just think about where your jacket ends. It's always very nice to have it end on your wrist where your bracelets go. Again, it gives a much more elegant line and makes your arms look longer. Or if you have it halfway across your hand, that'll make your arms look smaller and shorter. So depending on how you want to uh, work your proportions, then choose your length of sleeve for that. Now, the meeting point where the lapel and the buttons meet is also very important. If you have a long, long line, it just draws the eye and it makes your body look taller, longer and more elegant. If you have one button, make sure it does that underneath the bust, especially if you've got a big bust because this will stop it gaping and stop it pulling. Two buttons is the ideal because it just covers the midriff. It's great for covering up a fuller tummy and the midriff and is a universally flattering shape. Again, make sure that it ends beneath the bust so it doesn't pull. Three or four buttons up um, is a great look for the more petite figure because it makes your, you look taller and it lengthens your body. If you have the buttons on the mid chest as well, that's the ideal place for them then. Remember, having big buttons anywhere, especially big shiny buttons, will draw attention to that part of the body. So if you want to disguise a big bust or a big tummy, don't have your big buttons there because it'll draw the eye in. If you don't like the big buttons and you have them on a jacket, then just change them for, for a smaller one or a less shiny one and it'll completely change the look of that jacket. A nipped in waist is, again, universally flattering. It just gets at the proportions, makes you look a bit more hourglass shaped. Again, it's universally flattering. So if you can get one which has slight tailoring to nip in the waist, that's a really good look. The length of a jacket is, again, a very personal thing, but the most flattering length is one that finishes on the high hip. If you get one that finishes on the lower hip, just be a little bit careful because it'll end up having a line across your bottom, which will immediately draw a attention to your bottom half and it'll make your hips and your bottom look wider. A longer one that covers your bottom is also quite a good shape to have but again just make sure it's got some tailoring to give it some shape because if it's too square and boxy it can look very frumpy and will make you look older than you are. And always remember whatever you're wearing, whatever you're buying, to look behind you in the mirror. Do the 360 degree turn so you can see how it looks behind. It may look beautiful in front, it may give you a lovely shape and it may just accentuate your bottom behind or it may be bagging at the back so just always make sure that you look behind you before you buy anything. Pockets. Patch pockets anywhere on your jacket are going to draw attention so if you've got them on the bust area it's going to draw the eye to the bust, if you have them on the hip area it's going to draw the eye to the hip. The same with flaps on your pockets they will also draw attention to that area. So the best type of pocket to have is one that's slightly slanted without any flaps at all if you can get away with it and I always leave my pockets on my trousers and on my jackets stitched up. It just stops them gaping and stops the unsightly show of the lining underneath. And so moving on to trousers or pants. The waistline is very important. My preferred waistline level is just below the navel. Any higher, especially if the fabric isn't very thick and very rigid, then you'll end up having this big display of your tummy. Your tummy tends to hang out a bit and it just highlights it more. So if you have it across your navel, it just cuts the line and just makes you look slightly slimmer. 
The best type of frontage is to have a flat front, so no pleats, or if the pleats are, have them as flat pleats, and a, a thick waistband, um, a wide waistband. This will act as, as a corset and, and just holds everything in, just keeps everything flat, and the line's simple and clean. Now, the most flattering cut of trouser is one that just grazes over the hips, grazes over the bottom, and then falls either in a straight leg or a wider leg. The width of the leg is very much dependent on your choice, but also on your height. If you're petite, then go for a, a narrower, wide leg. Um, and if you're taller, you can get away with a full wide palazzo type width leg. So remember with your trousers that skimming is slimming. So don't be tempted to go for ones that are too tight. They will end up making you bulge over the top. You'll end up having the dreaded muffin top and it'll also show everything that you don't want to show. When choosing your outfit with a pair of trousers, then proportion is really important. The rule of thumb usually is the narrower the leg, the wider the top can be. So if you're wearing a skinny pant or a skinny pair of jeans, you can get away with a really voluminous top or a tunic, something like that, something that, that flows over the top of it. If your trousers are wide or palazzo pants, then wear a tighter top on top. So you've got the proportions, um, you've got that lovely hourglass look again. And if you wear too much on top, too much on the bottom half, you're just going to end up looking bigger and wider than you are. Now pockets on trousers. The pockets that tend to go on the side of the trouser in the seam, they will immediately make your hips look wider. So if that's what you want, then that's a good thing to have. But if you are wide across the beam, then avoid these if you can. The best pocket is to have one that is angled across the front. Um, that draws the line, gives the line in a V shape, it just draws the eye and will make you look narrower. Now, the rise of a trouser is slightly different to the height of the waistband, but it's something that you really need to think about. Again, a trouser rise that stops just below your navel is the most flattering. If you have a, a rise that's too big, that's too much material, it'll just bag and it'll add bulk to that area. And one that's too short, you'll end up having it stretched and tight and you'll end up with the, the V, the, the sort of camel toe V around your crotch area which is not attractive at the best of times. Now, my top tips for wearing white trousers comes down to the three Fs, fit, fabric, and finish. Now fit, when you're wearing or buying a pair of white trousers, always go a size up. White trousers are very unforgiving and they will show everything that you have or then you don't want to show. So always go for a size up. As I said before, skimming is slimming. So you don't want it pulling, you don't want it too tight. And the tighter they are, the more see-through they'll become. And talking about see-through, we get onto fabric. Always go for a matte or opaque fabric. Um, something that doesn't show through. With most white trousers, you won't have any lining in them like other trousers because that just stops the flow with the fabric. So you will be able to see through it. So a matte or an opaque fabric will just cut this down and you won't be able to see your underwear through it or your skin. And the last thing is finish. And we go back to pockets again. So with the pockets on the front, again, a slanting pocket, keep it stitched up, but beware back pockets. Now, a lot of white trousers, you will have a back pocket with a patch inside of the actual pocket and these will hang like a flag and say look at my bottom. So the best thing to do is to keep the top stitched up, keep the flat stitched up and just to take the actual pocket away. So cut it off, take it away. You won't use them anyway and this just takes away that sign, that neon sign that's pointing at your bottom. 